My name is Michael John. I'm an entertainer. I do videos. Hey, it's Mike the Wizard, heart chakra burst. <laughs> so I'm in a band, I beatbox. <laughs> a motivational speaker as well as spiritual talker. I can't wait to master the elements, then maybe I can bend air and fire with my own hands. Michael John discovered an authentic creative identity when he embarked on a journey of free play to literally find his voice. Uh, I started off uh, pretty much just making noises like, ah, as long as I could, you know, as hard as I can, even low voices, uh, and I got very, very comfortable being very quirky and bizarre. Michael's honest video diaries got him a loyal online following of local creatives. In his quest to express, he was discovered by now fellow band member Kyle McKellar. But one of the things that I love about him is the fact that he saw something in me. He pushed me to start singing. He's like, Michael, try it, freestyle it. Kyle was instrumental in providing Michael with a platform to be seen and heard. And he made me practice every single day, eight months straight, every single morning. I was at this guy's house practicing. When you regard the creative impulse as originating on subatomic level, you need a fully functioning vessel that's able to circumnavigate every particle and pulse on every wave. I go to the gym, I work out at home, I box, and from time to time I jog, but most of the time I walk. I walk everywhere. That's one of the ways that I get my brain to start thinking of new ideas, new songs, new beats. <laughs> Dang. I meditate as well from time to time just to really ground myself or center my energy so I can really create things that are proper and authentic to who I am. Michael's originally from Montreal. It's Windsor to which he's sworn artistic fealty to. I love Windsor. Windsor has plenty of artistic people. When it comes to spray paint designers, look at all the walls in the alleyways in Windsor. It's crazy the amount of artists there. Get into this, y'all. I'm traveling the streets of Windsor, DT. On the back of 29, about to look at this wall full of graffiti. Y'all ready for it? Okay, right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> There's a whole flock of artistic people here, and people are not seeing it. It's under the rug, but I'm here to expose it, meaning I'm going to be one of them so that other people can be seen as well because they inspired me to be me. As much as Michael's creative impulse is to just let art happen in his journey to complete expression, he is artfully strategic in how he wants his craft to resonate with the Vox populace. The message that I'm putting out there is to be able to express yourself in complete, complete freedom, like my music shows, and be able to still be intellectual and smart about your decisions, as my videos and spirituality does say. The combination of both of those things creates someone that can pretty much be free to think for themselves and to express for themselves. This young Windsor-based creative is driven by a common purpose of social upliftment through individual artistic expression. The world can hardly wait for him to leave his collective mark. It's time to